craving right now? I am really craving a West Coast IPA right now. And you know what? I don't have anything even close on tap. Shame on me. Let's go do something about that. I actually made this same exact beer two weeks ago, and that didn't work out. Can you hear it back there? I just sort of gave up on filming. One of the main reasons I brew in the morning most of the time is because if I wait till the middle of the day, like I did today, there are just so many distractions. I've got a barbecue going. You can hear the kids out. Side, it's too loud, too distracting. It makes brew day kind of difficult. I guess I should just relax and have a home brew. I'll be surprised if this even makes it in a video. Some of you said Papa needed to be in more videos, so there you have it. I actually have the day off today, so it's just me, it's just me here, and Papa, of course. I couldn't think of anything that I'd rather be doing on a day off with the house free to myself than make a batch of beer. And I'm really excited for this one because I haven't had an IPA on tap for quite some time. It is one of my favorite styles, I just haven't been making them because I've been kind of experimenting with some other brews, but I think it's time to get back to having an IPA on tap all the time. I like IPAs. IPAs are good. I'm keeping it as simple as I can. I did, I had some caramel malt. I was kind of trying to get away from caramel malts in my IPAs, you know, last year. I had about a pound left of caramel 40. I just kind of wanted to get rid of it. I'm starting with 11 pounds of pale ale malt. I picked mine up from Mecca Grade, so it's their Lamata Hale Ale Malt. And then I have one pound of the Caramel 40, and then I'm putting eight ounces of Carapils in there, hopefully just for a little bit better head retention. Got the mash in, gonna mash this one at 149 degrees, trying to create a slightly more fermentable wort just to drive down that attenuation, and have a nice, clean, crisp, West Coast IPA. I usually wait about 10 minutes, just kind of let everything settle before I start recirculating. Uh, but I'll get my little recirculation system going up here. It'll probably mash for about 45 minutes or so. I'm just gonna let that drain there for a few minutes while I start bringing it up to a boil. Didn't get any of the hop additions on film, but I am here for the last one, which is one ounce of Centennial and one, one ounce of Amarillo. What yeast am I using for this one? US05 is a classic, clean, fermenting ale strain. Is 
smells west coasty. It's got a nice golden color to it. I really didn't want you guys to take my word for it this time, so. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you gotta give me a review of the beer, dude. Uh, 7.8. Out of 10? Out of 10. Yeah, what's it need? Um, to be 10. Bitter. Me to more have bitter. two more. Two more. <laughs> 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 then it'll be 10 out of 10. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I am not an expert beer taster. He is not an expert beer judge. He gave it a what, a seven? Seven out of 10? I, I think I would agree. Let me do a flavor profile here. <laughs> A flavor profile. The massive citrusy notes. It's got good hops. I can taste the centennial. Tastes grapefruity, grapefruity to me. I can taste the amarillo. Tastes a little orangey to me. It's good. It tastes like a West Coast IPA. There is a little something in there, and I, I want to say it's probably the caramel malt. And that's why I'm always hesitant to put caramel malt in my beers. I'm very uncomfortable behind and on camera. I would expect there to be less malt character in an IPA. And there's something in there that's just malty and kind of like a little residual sweetness that I, I don't want in my IPAs. So I would tend to agree. As far as the alcohol level, 5.8%, you know, bittered it 60 minutes with Warrior, and then I just use Centennial and Amarillo throughout. I like the hop combination. I think I need to get rid of that Caramel 40 and use something else. My thoughts are maybe a Red X or Munich or maybe a Cara Munich. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. What malt should I get my color edition from for my, for my IPAs? If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. And if you're interested in more content, take a look at this video up here. Check it out, why not? Here comes Papa. Here he is again. He's doing his nightly chore of feeding the dog. <laughs> Hi, Papa. Oh, yeah, we're going to go make burgers right now. All right, it's time for burgers. All right, cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching.